always great to have Paul Upham in the studio to talk boxing, and we're going to talk that now of, of some sorts, I guess. <laughs> Anthony Mundine, he's, he's certainly no stranger to controversy over his boxing career uh, or his rugby league career. The man that stands behind him, Coda Nasser, has, has now been, uh, I guess, in question with the whole Sonny Bill Williams saga. You've had a lot to do with mm. Coda Nasser. What kind of a guy is he? Look, I first met Coda in the year 2000 when Anthony turned to boxing and look, we spent many hours in those early years talking about boxing because Coda was coming into a new sport and look, I can only say that he picked up very, everything very quickly. He's very intelligent, uh, he thinks outside the circle, he's, you have to credit him that he made the biggest boxing event in Australia when you talk about uh, Anthony Mundine versus Danny Green. And, Look, he likes to stay in the background. Um, he probably hasn't got the credit he deserves. As, mm. as much as Anthony Mundine's done inside the ring for his boxing career, Coda has been a tremendous asset to his career outside the ring. And you have to say that the, the, the success financially Anthony Mundine has had has been a direct result of Coda Nasser's efforts. Y yes, um, he has been obviously very good in, in brokering great deals for Mundine, but he's helped him become one of the most polarised and unliked people in the sporting public yeah. and now Sonny Bill Williams is, is fast becoming uh, you know the same. T Mundine has always had a, a, a philosophy that you know, any publicity can, is really good publicity when it comes to That's making right. money and you have to say that Anthony Mundine has crashed through the barriers of mainstream media coverage and you know Coda's played a big hand of that and when it comes to Anthony Mundine's bank balance you know, Coda deserves so much credit for that. Um, but there is criticism, you know, but they don't, I think Coda's philosophy, that the way I see it, is that his goal is to make the most amount of money for his client and whatever it takes to do that. And with Anthony Mundine, he has done that. This doesn't really talk about his credibility, though, and uh, it was interesting to have Gordon Tallis in yesterday on, uh, on set, and he said the way Coda Nasser and Anthony Mundine met was... Coda Nassi used to turn up to Dragons games and wave his Dragons flag on the hill and struck up a conversation with Anthony Mundine and it was over Muhammad Ali is how they connected. And from then, apparently they've been best mates for life and Coda's been able to help shape Anthony Mundine's career. Now we're seeing Sonny Bill Williams in his corner and we're seeing the same kind of things. Does Coda Nassa have a certain element to him that, uh, it's difficult to say, say this properly, but it, it, it could be edgy, it could be shifty. Look, Cater's a very intelligent man and he, he can sum up the situation very quickly, particularly when you're talking about two of the biggest sporting names in their own sports. We're talking Anthony Mundine, who's not just a boxer, he, he was a great rugby league player and he, was, he wasn't in the upper echelon, but he was right up there. And Sonny Bill Williams is obviously one of the biggest um, stars in the sport and I think Cater recognises that you have to look at other ways to make revenue. And look, what's happened now, and I don't know the contractual relationship, if any, between Coda Nasser mm. and Sonny Williams, only what we've seen in the media, and Coda's obviously spoken on his behalf before. But, uh, you know, Coda likes to look at other things and, and how you can make money for, for the, as I said, for your client. And, uh, you know, anybody who underestimates the intelligence of Coda Nasser is making a big mistake because he thinks everything through. Everything, if, if, if he's involved in this, everything that's happened, he would have foreseen this. And, uh, and Coda's, Coda's very smart, he's very clever. No doubt. The man from the very first fight in Anthony Mundine, Alan Jones, who, very intelligent man, said to Anthony Mundine, get rid of your manager, you don't need this bloke. But it, since then, he's outlived everyone else that's tried to attack him. He sat down and had cigars with Don King. He's told Jeff Fennick, who's been the biggest name in Australian boxing over the last 30 years, where to go. He's, he's, he's taken on everyone and... and remained in the chair, in the job. Look, he had a tremendous asset in Anthony Mundine and Coda's been able to help, you know, Mundine's obviously played his part as well in managing himself, but Coda's been able to recognise that asset. Now, if Coda has an asset like Sonny Bill Williams, he's recognised that because of the constraints of the salary cap here in Australia, there's a lot more money uh, that can be made in other avenues and obviously French Rugby Union is, is one of those. And, you know, if, you've, if your goal of your manager is to make you the most amount of money you possibly can over a short period of time, because mm. athletes like Mundine and, and uh, Sonny Bill Williams obviously only have a short period of time in their career, if that's your goal, you want Coda Nasser in your corner because he's going to go out there and find you the biggest dollars. Now, whether that um, aligns you to being liked by people, well, that's a, that's a different thing, but Coda doesn't see that as his, as his goal. That's, that's my, uh, the way I've, I've read him over the years. And look, he's been very, very successful. And if Sonny Bill Williams is going to French Union for $3 million over two years, a huge increase on his current salary, and he can get away with it and do it, 
uh, it's a it's a big plus for Sonny Bill Williams, isn't it? It is, yeah, but it's not not in the way he's handled the situation. So financially, but money's not everything. But you said from the beginning, a lot of people haven't liked the ways Anthony Mundine has done things over the years. Obviously, there's a lot of outrage over this. But uh, you know, Coda said this the other day. He said, "Why isn't anybody asking? You know, what's best for Sonny? Mm. That, that that's his perspective. What is best for Sonny Williams?" Well, I, I would imagine that pound for pound, there's been no sporting manager in Australia that's made more money if this deal with Sonny Bill Williams happens. It's sick, and I guess that needs to be uh, considered as well. But